Hello guys, it's Johnny Tam and welcome to another crypto and DeFi tutorial. So you probably heard the term Tornado Cash. A lot of bad reputation this app has for mixing transaction and a lot of hackers are using it to steal funds and to hide the tracks in order to get away with the stolen funds. But actually Tornado Cash is an amazing project and in this video you're gonna learn everything that you need to know of what is Tornado Cash how it works and why this is super important for the privacy of our money and our blockchains and cryptocurrencies. So we're gonna talk about the bad sides and the good sides of Tornado Cash and understand exactly how the protocol preserves your anonymity by different mechanisms that it maintains. So it's very educational video and you wanna make sure that you watch it till the end in order to master what is Tornado Cash and how to preserve your privacy on different blockchain. And if you like this kind of educational content, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification buttons for more videos. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So what is Tornado Cash? It's a decentralized protocol, which means that it does, it's not controlled by anyone, it's not hosted by self centralized servers, and it cannot be taken down. For private transactions on Ethereum, actually it supports some other EVM chains like Binance Smart Chain and Polygon, but we'll get to it in a moment. So Tornado Cash is basically a protocol that make, enables you to create private transactions and hide your tracks and hide your wallet address on different kind of blockchains in a very good way. Now, obviously a lot of attackers and hackers and criminals are using this kind of decentralized tool in order to hide they, their tracks of their money that they stole from different DeFi hacks or scams or drug deals, okay? So this tool can be used and is mainly used by criminals, but it's also being used by people who just appreciate their privacy and they don't want to reveal their wallet addresses, which are which is like makes sense you know why would you reveal your wallet address and your balance same as you don't want to show everyone in the world how much money you have in your bank account and how in the recent transaction history that you send and what kind of purchase history you have what do you buy you don't want also your crypto wallet to be openly public and connected to your identity uh, because you appreciate your privacy and you think it's important important and this is what another cash allows you to do and you will understand exactly how it works and how it enables you this kind of privacy. So here you can see that Tornado Cash is supporting different EVM chains, including Ethereum, BSC, Polygon, Optimism, Arbitrum, Avalanche, and it's quite cool, even Ethereum Goretti, which is a testnet if you wanna test your applications. And let's try to understand how Tornado Cash works and how it maintains privacy. So the first step is deposit. You deposit a funds uh, from one wallet that you control into Tornado Cash. Let's say you have a wallet that is connected to, the, to your name and you don't want, you want a newly wallet that is not connected to your name because people were able to tag and label this wallet address with your name. So you want to move your fund to a new wallet uh, without people knowing that this wallet is related to you, to your name. So the first step, you take the old wallet, the one that is already labeled with your name on it, and you deposit the funds into Tornado Tornado Cash, okay? So it can either be Ethers, Ether on Ethereum blockchain or BNB on Binance Smart Chain or Matic on Polygon. You deposit the funds, okay? And then you get some kind of random security note, like a text file that includes a note that this note can be used later on to redeem the funds and withdraw it in an anonymous way. How it basically works is that when, when you deposit the funds, you, sub, you send a transaction to a smart contract. To the transaction, you also attach a parameter that represents a hash that verifies this kind of node. So the smart contract remembers that there was a deposit 
um, of this amount of ether, one ether or 10 ether. And later on, when you present this kind of code, the smart contract is able to do some kind of mathematical function to verify your node that you provide and then let you withdraw the funds later on from a completely different wallet in an anonymous way. Now, this is step one. This is the deposit. Now, the wait is super, super important because you need to wait sometimes so other people will deposit more money to the smart contract because if there will be only two transactions one after another your deposit and then your withdrawal it will be very obvious uh, who is the one who withdraw the money so it will be very easy to connect the source and the destination wallet let's say you deposited with the wallet that everyone knows that it's connected to the, your name and right after there is a withdrawal transaction to your new wallet so it will be very easy to to connect this kind of two wallets and it will be it will make no sense to use the protocol for this that's why you need to wait for a while and the more time you you wait the more privacy you will achieve through the protocol because more and more people will deposit and withdraw money from the smart contract and your transaction will be swollen inside all this kind of mess of deposit and withdrawals and it will be very very hard and nearly impossible to connect the, your deposit and your withdrawal if you do it in the right way now if you want to learn how to do it in the right way check out the other video i will put a link in the description below how to actually perform these kind of steps practically because this is theoretical tutorial of how to run other cash works and how it makes sure that you are private so if you want to learn how it works make sure to watch this video uh, till the end but if you want to actually uh, do uh, the, the, the process yourself deposit and withdraw and learn how to do it securely and safely without being revealed after the withdrawal uh, make sure to watch the step-by-step -step tutorial how to do it properly now after you waited a certain amount of time you can withdraw the deposited funds so let's say you deposit 10 ETH now you can come with a completely different uh, wallet provide the note that you got once you deposited the funds and then ask for the deposited funds from a completely new wallet without it without gas fees now you might ask wait but in order to withdraw i need to send a transaction to smart contract but how do i find the, the new wallet the newly anonymous wallet I need it to send transaction fees, right? So no, this is quite genius. There are some relays that will send the withdrawal transaction on your behalf. These people will get 0.3% of the transaction, which is quite low uh, fee, and they will send a transaction for you. So you don't need, this, this wallet can be completely empty with no ETH, no BNB, nothing, because the relayers are gonna send a transaction for you, and you will just get the deposited money without sending any transaction to the blockchain. This is super, super cool. And let's try to understand how Tornado Cash achieves privacy. Basically, the more people deposit and use Tornado Cash, the more private it becomes. Because once a lot of people deposit to the smart contract money, 1 ETH, 10 ETH, 100 ETH, your transaction will be uh, mixed inside this kind of all this mess of transactions and it will be impossible to detect what is your transaction. Now, a lot of people claim that Tornado Cash is bad and a lot of uh, bad actors are using it in order to steal money and hide their tracks, which is true, but you know, it's a decentralized application, which means that you cannot shut it down. You cannot, it's not a server that you can come to the, uh, the cloud provider and tell them shut down the service. It's very, very similar to Pirate Bay, if you're familiar with Pirate Bay uh, and Pirate Torrents. The torrents are just a link to a peer-to-peer -peer network that allows you to download from one of each other the pirate files like the movies or the games or songs or whatever it's gonna be and it's basically just a website like that website and the actual data is not on the website okay so this is how pirate bay works so if you take down the website tomorrow there will be 100 new websites with new domains so you cannot really take it down so it's very very similar with tornado cash it's smart contracts that are already deployed on the ethereum blockchain there is no server it's just smart contracts and mathematical functions and codes that live on the ethereum blockchain so you cannot really shut it down all the website files and resources are being hosted on ipfs which is a decentralized project uh, decentralized storage so you cannot shut it down as well as well and all the decisions are being decided through the tornado cash governance which means that you can vote on proposals um, using uh, tornado cash tokens 
So this is super, super cool and it cannot be shut down, which is also interesting. So even if you want to shut it down, you cannot. And there are some bad actors who are using it and some good actors that are using it. All right, so if you wanna get started of using Tonal Cash, you can click here, launch app, and then it will be re you will be redirected, redirected to the Tonal Cash web application. Right now you can see that I'm connected to BSC mainnet, but you can change anytime that to the other networks, Ethereum, Polygon, etc. Now we have two main features, the deposit and withdraw. As we discussed before, deposit will be used to deposit tokens to the smart contract, to the protocol, and withdraw will be used to withdraw them, but you need to make sure that you wait this certain amount of time to make the transaction anonymous and the mixing anonymous. So more people will deposit and withdraw. Meanwhile, your deposit and withdraw transaction. Now you cannot specify the amount that you want to deposit because we'll see in a moment why you cannot specify. You can meanwhile try to think why the protocol does not allow you to specify the amount and only gives you fixed amount of 0 0.1, 1, 10 and 100 BNB. Now once you deposit, you will get this kind of note, this kind of, this is just, I'm not going to show you how it works. In It's going to be in another video. So make sure to search for how to use to another cash Johnny time and you will see this video or click the link in the description below and then you can withdraw the funds providing the note and the recipient address which is super super cool now there are certain ways of how to use it properly so make sure to use to watch my tutorial step by step to learn how to not do mistakes and reveal your wallet address even though you you use to another cash now once we see how the app looks like let's take a look at the smart contracts and try to understand how it works. So the most important contract is the Tornado Cash Router. This is Ethereum blockchain, so let's change to Ethereum. Once you deposit funds to Tornado, first you go through the Tornado Cash and you call the deposit function. As you can see, these are people who are depositing uh, Ether to the Tornado Cash Router smart contract. Now, the router is gonna route the deposited ETH to the equivalent smart contract, okay? So the router is just a router smart contract that you can call, it's external and you can call it and it routes it to other smart contract. You can see that some people send one ETH, some people send 0 0.1 ETH and some people send 10 ETH. Also, the withdrawals goes to the router smart contract, but the actual interesting contract are this kind of contract. For example, this contract represents Tornado Cash for 0.1 ETH. So anytime someone deposits a Tornado Cash to the Tornado Cash 0.1 ETH, it will go and be stored on this smart contract. As you can see now, there is 387 ETH already stored in the smart contract. You can see all the transaction inside the internal transaction section in the Ether Scan website because the transaction directly goes to route to the router and the router is sending the money to this kind of smart contract that's why you won't see any transactions here on this page only the uh, only different transactions but that of withdrawal because you can also directly withdraw from this smart contract but if you want to like uh, take a look at the most of the transactions you have to take a look at the internal transactions section and here you can see all the different deposits that comes from the user to the router to the smart contracts. Now, the reason that Tornado Cash does not let you specify a custom amount but and give you fixed uh, values for ETH to deposit is because if you deposit, let's say 0.5 ETH and then you withdraw 0.5 ETH, it will be very easy to connect the deposit and the withdraw uh, transactions. And it will be very easy to, to detect the source wallet and the destination wallet and you do not achieve any privacy. But once you have a smart contract that is willing to accept only 0.1 ETH, you can see here that this is after fees because people pay fees for real errors, for relayers to withdraw the transactions and then it's very very hard to to connect between deposit and withdraw transactions because all of them are deposits of 0.1 ETH from unknown senders to withdrawals of 0.1 ETH. So your, your transaction will be mixed in all these kind of blockchain transactions and that's how you achieve anonymity. And this is an example of a deposit transaction. You can see that it gives the address of the smart contract that it wants. In that case, the user deposited one ETH. So the address will be the address for the 10 ETH for the one is smart contract, some kind of commitment variable and equipment node, which is basically the proof that later on you can use to withdraw the 
money in the destination wallet. And this is exactly how Tornado Cash is able to preserve privacy of its users. And it's super, super interesting. I hope you learned something new today and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below or the Discord community. And make sure to subscribe to the channel for more educational videos about Tornado, how to use it, crypto, blockchain, and cybersecurity. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.